It's a startling thing to experience. Dressers tipping over during Consumer Reports demonstration of furniture stability. It's something Janet McGee knows all too well. When I opened the door even further, right in front of me was his dresser that had fallen forward and immediately, oh my God, it's so quiet in here. He has to be under it, he's under it. Her 22 month old son, Ted, died after a dresser fell on top of him. I remember having the thought of, I hope this is a dream, but I know this isn't a dream. The dresser that killed Ted was an Ikea mom. Ikea later recalled the dresser and has since changed the design. And it did not respond to requests for comment after the incident involving Ted McGee. But here's the question. How stable are the new dressers currently on the market? Consumer Reports bought 24 models from different furniture manufacturers, then evaluated them based on three different tests. 13 dressers passed all the tests, while 11 failed at least one of the tests. Dressers from Pottery Barn, Epic, and Sauter, among others, passed CR's 60-pound test, while models from South Shore and Amerawood, among others, failed a 50-pound test. Both South Shore and Amerawood say their products meet voluntary safety standards. So how can you tell if a dresser in your home is secure? That's the thing about all of this. You can't tell a dresser by just whether it's going to be tipsy just by looking at it. Which is why Consumer Reports is pushing for mandatory safety standards and says all furniture should be properly anchored to a wall. Janet McGee agrees and says manufacturers should also design and build safer furniture. I should be able to purchase something and put it in my child's room and it be safe.